Okay, so you already know that I'm maybe just a little obsessed with Trello, but let me just tell you, I have barely scratched the surface. So this week, I'm gonna be showing you what, in my opinion, are the top five Trello power-ups that you cannot live without. Okay, so we have talked about some Trello power-ups in the past, and they are going to come up again in this video, so I will link to those videos uh, up above so that you can go watch and learn a little bit more about them. But for this video, I just kind of want to go through a real quick rundown of the five power-ups that I literally think that you can't live without and just a high-level understanding for you of what they actually do. So number five, this one is Colorful Budget. And I have talked about this one before. In fact, I did an honest review about it, so you can go check that out and see a little bit behind the scenes what it does. But essentially, it's a great power-up that helps you to categorize and visualize your budget, whether you're looking at your business budget, your personal budget, or a combination of both, to help you really understand where your money is going, where you're spending it, where your income is coming from, and make sure that you're being really responsible with your finances, especially when it comes to your business. I can't even tell you how many business owners I know that think that they are not successful, but it's only because they're really not paying close enough attention to their finances for their business. They're overspending in certain places or they're just not really aware of how much they're making. So a power up like Colorful Budget is great for that because it really just helps you to visualize, kind of think similar to like a mint.com kind of situation, but inside of Trello. This one does come with a little bit of cost from the power up designer, but it's negligible when you think about what benefit you're getting out of this power up. Okay, number four would be either Typeform or Google Forms, just depending on what your preference is on that side. Basically, the point being having a way for a potential lead or potential customer to fill out a form, give you some information, and then populate or create a card on one of your boards. It's such a great way to automate that process. Yes, you can do that uh, to a certain extent with email marketing platforms and whatnot, but typically you're gonna not put a ton of questions on a form that is like an opt-in form versus something like this, which might be client feedback or market research or something. It's, it's so great to be able to have that just populate straight into your uh, platform that you're already living in because you love Trello as much as I do, rather than having to go check Google Forms or go check Typeform all the time. And the best part is these power-ups are both free. All right, number three is the Google Drive power-up. And I use this primarily in my Pinterest marketing strategy. I have shown this before, so I will link that video up above. Um, but I've been really thinking about it lately because I've been working on the content for the next course for the membership, which um, is actually coming out this week. And it's all about being what I'm calling pintentional with your Pinterest marketing. Yes, it's cheesy, but you know what? Everybody else does cheesy little puns with Pinterest marketing courses, so I did one too. And Google Drive is a big part of my process for that, so it's a big part of what I'm teaching in that course as well. So yeah, check out that video above if you didn't see how I'm using Google Drive in my Pinterest marketing, because it'll show you how it works as a power up in Trello also. And this one is also free. Number two is the calendar power up. And this one is so simple, but huge, because one of the things that you get if you upgrade to a premium Trello account is a bunch of different views like timeline and calendar and you know stuff like that tables, but really the only real other view that I've personally felt the need to have access to is the calendar view, because I like to be able to see, well, for lots of reasons, you could see it in my habit tracker, you could see it, I use it in my Pinterest marketing in really uh, so many things that I want to be able to visualize in like a schedule kind of way versus just the cards. And this power up, which is also free, works almost identically to how that uh, view looks when you're in premium. So this one is huge if you've been wishing that you had a way to view your cards on a calendar. And then my favorite, my top power up that I'm always talking about is called Dash Cards. I've done more than one video about this one, but I'm gonna link a specific one above because 
it's talking about what I learned when I decided to upgrade my Trello to a paid plan, how I was able to take dash cards to a whole new level. But even if you're on a free plan, dash cards are still very cool. They give you the ability to create kind of not only just visually eye popping cards, which I've been asked about multiple times when people see my free template board that I offer, which I'll link that somewhere too, so that you can grab it if you want. But it, it it's not just that it looks cool. It's the fact that it's calculating things for you potentially, or just helping you to count up and visualize how many things are left for me to do this week in this board or in this workspace? Or if you're working with other people, how many things are assigned to me versus assigned to this person to make sure that the work is balanced, right? There's so many ways you can use it. And then when you take it up to the more premium level, if you have a paid Trello plan, it can literally sum up dollars for you. Um, it depends on how you're using custom fields, but you can take those custom fields and get an average, you can add them up, you can, like, I mean, there's just so many more things you can do with it then. You can also then, by the way, view those cards as any card that fits in the filter that you built into the dash card in a table version, and you can export that table, something else that doesn't come typically in free or even standard Trello. You have to get all the way up to premium to get that functionality, but if you're using dash cards, you get it. And Dash Cards is one that was created by Trello, so you know that it's going to stay supported and it's not going to just suddenly disappear on you someday. So that one, to me, I, I think I have a Dash Card on almost every board <laughs> that I have, at least one. They are so handy. They're so much fun. They make those boards a more aesthetically eye-popping and fun place for me to work in. And so highly, highly recommend it. And that is also a free power-up. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and let me know that you'd like more content like this. And make sure that you subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss the next video. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated or overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.